Hey guys, I'm Nate Burkus, and these are my top 10, that's five, 10 essentials. I believe that people should be able to have beautiful, wonderfully designed things made out of real materials that don't cost a lot of money. I basically started my career in design when I was six and my mom would ask me to come upstairs in my pajamas and ask me if there were too many accessories on our mantle. I think fashion's a really big part of my world because it's part of my job, really, to understand sort of what the trends are. And I always break down what I'm seeing into terms of what that could be. So I'm inspired by a window grate, and all of a sudden that becomes a pattern on the top of a bed. These are one of my essentials. These are my favorite boots. They're Marc Jacobs. They're not made anymore. I think they're 10 years old. I like them all worn in. They're molded to my feet. I think they look really good. My grandfather thinks I need a shoe shine. So do you guys remember those little facial discs that we all used to smear all over our faces when we had acne and we were like 15 and it was a nightmare? So don't use those anymore, use this. This is like probably one of the best skincare products I've ever used in my life. My dermatologist, that's him right there, David Colbert, came up with these skin discs. Your skin automatically feels like younger and fresher. Good cologne is an essential. Good cologne, good perfume, good soap. Fleur de Louis. These are unisex, and I don't think that you have to wear things that are just for guys or just for girls. It's really about finding a scent that, that makes you happy. I love reading. These are some of my favorite books. This is the last book I read and I was really enjoying it until I got to page 142, where it says, um, I can only speak from my personal experience, but I've been married for 10 years and barely any gay people have tried to break up my marriage. I say barely any because that Nate Burkus is a little shady. I'm defenseless against his cuteness and I for accessories. He's always convincing me to buy beautiful trinkets with our grocery money. Thanks, Glenn and Melton. Another essential for me is travel and in specific, Greece, how's that? Patmos, which is an incredibly arid, dry, really beautiful island where I try and go every summer to recharge, but you don't have to go all the way to Greece if you can find a beautiful island in your mind. These photographs were made by my late boyfriend, Fernando Benguechea, and they're hand woven. Um, they were photographs that he took, he was a photographer, and then he took a tweezer and he wove these together. And they're actually about five feet tall. I've always believed that people should surround themselves by things that have meaning. Decorative boxes are cool. These are part of my collection. They all have like little details, metal studs, different textures and things like that. But you know, in my own home, there's paper clips and post-its in this one. The remote control goes in this one. Cuff links and stuff like that go in this one. It's just a way to keep organized. This is another essential for me, um, white tequila. Uh, to be specific, Patron Silver, and I don't think I really need to say anything else about that, right? Essential. So one of my essentials is definitely staying organized in all areas of life. This is part of my collection that I designed at Target, and um, these pieces actually keep you organized, but keep you sort of looking good while you're doing it. T-shirts, I wear t-shirts almost every day. Alexander Wang, I think, makes the best t-shirt, so this is Alexander Wang and this one as well. If I really want to shake things up, I can wear this. That's kind of the evening look. You got it. You are watching GQ's 10 Essentials, which is really, I hope you're learning a lot watching this. And um, you can comment below, down here, or you can follow us at GQ's 10, or even better, if you really are feeling motivated, you can subscribe.